Hello friends, today's video is for the online cycle June 2024. This is for the semester 4 for finance management and uh, international trading management. Uh, students can refer to the same assignment. So subject is international finance. Okay, the first question is suppose a particular multinational company is driving research uh, uh, for further scope of global finance factors at macro level, which arena will be uh, stringent for management to discover the further international scope? Elaborate respective factors. Uh, kindly excuse my voice, it's been <laughs> um, God. Okay, so for the answers, we will refer for the chapter one and chapter uh, six. I'll just take you through uh, the scope. scope of the international finance where you can have it all the uh, details but the basic details you can take it from here and the um, um, what we are looking here is the macro level one so here you can elaborate a little bit on the macroeconomic fundamental concepts then uh, you have a big of a, 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 a very detailed information here for the uh, role and then we will move straight forward to the chapter uh, 6. Two thirty-two. Yeah. Basic factors causing the exchange rate uh, fluctuations is what has been given. But we can look into the factor that how the international, um, uh, sorry, uh, uh, for the multinational company, uh, how this will affect okay so you have to just take an inspiration and take it some factors for your um, answers um, connect it back to the international how it is affecting your international business or multinational business then again we will uh, come back with the uh, uh, information what we are telling is how this multinational company is driving research for the global finance factors at the macro level Okay, so the factors, uh, most related factors are coming up from this, this area. So you can uh, collect it and you can write it about certain factors. Now, may not be all, but uh, terms of trade and other things you can look into in, in, in detail. Uh, come write it very relevant to the uh, question, like particular for this one. Okay, the question two is how the Britain system and the gold standards affected 44 countries delegate at new hemisphere for new currency USD as global reserve currency. Elaborate the effective features of the BWS in terms of international finance regime. You'll find this answer in chapter three. So you can write a brief about the BWS system and the global, uh, gold uh, standard, classical gold standard. Then we will find it in chapter 3, page number 87. Yeah. Britain Wood system, you can write a brief and then you can write uh, um, about the classical gold standards. And then uh, the factors, what we are looking is, yeah, these are the systems. The main reasons behind the failure of the BWS systems are these. And uh, I think it is not asked for the failures. It is asked you uh, features. So, mm, Uh, yeah, still in features, these are the features. Okay. And then we have to write it about uh, the um, effectiveness. So for the effectiveness, you can look for this, why the BWS was effective, because of the fixed exchange rate, elaborate. These are just the key points, what I'm trying to mention it. You have to elaborate in detail about these things, how this was effective. 
uh, fixed exchange rate, USD dominance, got, uh, gold uh, convertibility, institutional framework. I am uh, sorry for this. Uh, So this this one you can write it in detail. So the um, uh, answer this question. Okay. For the question three, what is the cruciality of the imperfect market theory in the era of international trade and finance as uh, whether it can stand out as most different or niche global theory? Elaborate as how international bond market form the crucial paradigm in that international finance market elaborate any two factors so for the question one we will move to um, the first chapter theories of international trade page number 17 and 19 international trade methods of international trade I will see um, there is of international trade in here basic information you can start uh, about the different theories then comes the perfect market theory then um, So here you can um, you can write the other points. It's like finance, whether it can stand out as most different or niche global theories, like realistic assumptions, uh, policy implications, international relevance, dynamic nature, interdisciplinary approaches. So these are the factors which are supporting this uh, uh, the second part of the question, which is asking you the no, most different or the niche global theory why it makes us uh, select this theory and second one is elaborate uh, the second question we will see in the international bond market in the page number 48 in the chapter 2 international bond market you can get the little details here and then about the other uh, other pictures, what you have to look elaborate the any two factors. The factors can be like capital mobilization and financing, risk management and diversification. So look for this directly. I I could not give you the answer from the textbook, but this one you can look into the uh, factors in the open source, and then you can write it down. So again, um, uh, whenever you refer to open sources, please refer it, write it in your own words. So I yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Guru Pyari Soni, for uh, sharing these questions. I really appreciate that you wanted to support someone else and then you shared this one. So it's a very good uh, quality, quite rare to find nowadays, but it's really nice. Thank you.